This is a biggie. It's the first appearance of damage. Who the fuck is damage? I don't know. Uh, we're going to go through Punisher War Journal. My man, Jim Lee. Who, uh... I think everybody who has even read a comic book knows who Jim Lee is. And uh, why not look at his early stuff from Punisher War Journal. Punisher War Journal 8. I have this raggedy fucking copy. I think I'm the only person who has every issue of Punisher War Journal. It's a great comic book series. I think more people should read it. You want to talk about a character that has so many great artists? And Punisher is up there. You got like Mark Teixeira. You got Jim Lee. Buscema did some stuff for Punisher. I mean, there's a lot. Of Wills Portacio. I feel like he's one of those characters that, like, back in the day, you know, if you were a learning artist at Marvel, they would kind of give you Punisher, and they'd go, take this character, do something with it, and then we'll move you on to, like, X-Men or something like that. So I wanted to take a look at this early work by Jim Lee from Punisher War Journal. This is a raggedy copy. I have a nicer copy, uh, but I mean, there's like water damage on it. So but we're not here to look at my water damage. We're here to look at the comic. And right out of the gate, I'm going to say Jim Lee. Awesome storyteller. Great drawer, too. Not one of my favorites, surprisingly. Not one of my favorites, but I can definitely see why people like him so much and love his artwork. Great storyteller. This character, damn. I mean, why are we announcing a, 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 an introduction of a character if they're just going to die? If you're a Punisher villain and you don't die. Well. I guess you're, you're a pretty insane fucking villain. Other than Kingpin, of course. Because Kingpin had to stay alive. Look at that panel. Jim Lee knew what he was doing. I looked at Punisher War Journal, the first issue, very recently. And Carl Potts is kind of doing the, the the layouts and stuff. I think Jim Lee was finishing it. And uh, you can definitely see some growth between issue one and eight. But Jim Lee could draw anything at this point. I mean, even, I mean his comics did not look bad. But he was definitely learning, for sure. Again, I, I like this channel because I kind of I like kind of showing the stuff off because I can kind of analyze the stuff that I have because I like looking at artists early work and I mean I this is the earliest thing I could find by Jim Lee is Punisher War Journal I know there's a couple of things he did before I believe I think he did Alpha Flight I think Alpha Flight was his first comic but I think this is like one of his earliest piece uh, earliest works draws a great Punisher by the way I know this is uh, not, uh, I know 6 and 7 of Punisher War Journal, like the biggies that everybody like, oh, you know, those are the fin of Jim Lee. But this is after it, so I thought I might as well do after it, because everybody looks at 6 and 7. Great drawer. Great at things like foreshortening, great at things like, like I said, storytelling, gestural. This stuff did not look... Uh, stiff at all. Where somebody like Wills Portacio, I like Wills Portacio, but his stuff looked very stiff, very anatomy driven. Whereas uh, um, Jim Lee was more into like George Bridgman, you know, more about form, kind of like J.R. J.R. was John Romita Jr. Drew great faces, by the way. Very interesting stuff. Very interesting storytelling. He he does draw the right amount of teeth, unlike Rob Liefeld, so that's good. Look at that explosion. I'm not talking about the story, I'm just kind of focusing on the art and the creator. Uh, that is Jim Lee. Oh, that down shot. I mean, I love I love the way he handles gesture. 
Oh, that shading and that lighting. I mean, he had he had his he had everything down that you needed. Very early on. Very very early on, he had that on, he had that he had that down. He had pretty much everything down. I mean, you you'll be I I I I I think it's very rare that you're gonna find. You know, very poorly drawn Punisher. You know. Or uh, Punisher, very very uh, poorly poorly drawn uh, Jim Lee comic. I'm sure they exist, but because uh, I mean, you know, sometimes he got a little lazy when he, you know, when he was doing Wildcats and stuff like that for Image, because those guys were were making money hand over foot, and you know, they didn't really care about being on time technically. But uh, I love that I love that uh, van. It's very odd. It's very odd shaped, but it works. You can definitely tell he's, he's again. He's he's still learning at this point, but he's pretty much there. I mean, he's pretty much there. I mean, look at that. Absolutely amazing piece. I kind of wish that had been like a splash page. I think if this book had come out two years later, that would have been a splash page, and it would have been amazing. Man, yeah, look at that. Anyone who can draw the Punisher well, I appreciate them. Because, I mean, I love the Punisher. I think Punisher is an extremely underrated character. I feel like there's just not enough done with him. And he drew guns. He actually drew guns the correct, sort of correct way. Unlike some of the other people that, you know, were around at his time. We'll just leave it at that. That kick looks a little weird, but it works. I, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting that it's a kick. I think I think the legs are like a little too long, maybe. It's like I do. We don't want to give you kingpin, so we're gonna kind of we're gonna give you somebody that's like kingpin. And that kick, that force that he's being kicked with, he's just going off panel. He's still on panel, but you definitely tell he's gonna be over here kicked him pretty hard when you have the ability to do that when you have the ability to kind of show that motion like that like and in, in that force you pretty much got it down i also didn't, i also just noticed this kind of going into that panel i mean there are some there are some there are some uh panels that are a little boring Kind of like this panel. Not not the most interesting panel in the world, but you kind of make up for panels like this. You know, you go, okay, I guess that's going to be a boring panel, but man, that's really great. Also, I'm going to be honest, the storyline of this comic is not very good. It's not very good. I feel like when I read Punisher, I'm always just like, I wish it was a slightly better storyline. But I feel like Punisher, again, like it, it is where all the best artists kind of start out. I love that panel. That panel is amazing. That, that you you can definitely tell that Jim Lee wanted to draw Batman, so he kind of made the coat. I know. I think Punisher's whole thing is he had the coat, but I don't know. I don't know who gave him the coat. I don't know where the coat kind of came from, but uh, you can definitely tell that he wanted to draw Batman. I feel like Punisher and Daredevil are the perfect introduction to uh, drawing Batman. But yeah, that's. I mean, it's it, not nothing really interesting goes on, goes on in this uh, issue. But um, I just kind of wanted to show off some Jim Lee art. It's uh, it's it's pretty great. The one thing I will say about Jim Lee is that he's very um kind of standard or textbook. I think textbook would be the better word. He's a very textbook artist. Um. Which there's nothing wrong with that. He's very textbook. He wants to draw everything correctly. He wants to draw everything right. He wants to draw everything interesting, which is is great. But you know, it's it. You know, I feel like he doesn't push it as far as guys like Todd McFarlane did. Todd McFarlane, I don't think has ever drawn a boring panel ever. Jim Lee, on the other hand, has drawn some uh, some pretty boring uh, uh, panels but he's a great storyteller and you know he you know he draws a lot of great panels like this so you know it's jim lee punisher war journal number eight i don't know who did the cover 
Like, I don't think that's a Jim Lee, but it might be. Oh, I think it is a Jim Lee. Yeah, it is Jim Lee. Yeah, I mean, very, very just kind of standard art, but it works. And it's great. And it's it's definitely early. You can tell. You know, his form and his and, and his uh anatomy. His form's pretty good, his anatomy is uh, seems like it's a little bit off, not as detailed as it would go on to eventually, but yeah. That's Jim Lee. Punisher War Journal, number eight. I didn't want to cover six and seven because I feel like everyone covers six and seven, you know, him against Wolverine. But uh yeah. Pretty cool comic.